Welcome to Cemetery Road. I am currently in Virginia City, Nevada. I am looking for other cemeteries other than the Silver Terrace Cemetery that is the most well-known cemetery in this area. There are also two small towns next to Virginia City, um, Gold Hill, Silver City. They both have cemeteries. I'm looking for those as well. But I heard there was another cemetery, a pioneer cemetery up in the hills, and I am searching for it. What do I mean when I say I'm searching for it? I'm searching for it because there's no real road to it other than these old dirt roads, which thankfully I have a four wheel drive truck. Uh, but when I plugged in the directions, uh, the GPS coordinates for this cemetery, it took me to uh, a road that said, hey, pull off on this road. The location is nearby, but you have to walk there. And when I got out of the truck, it's literally this super tall hill. And I was like, I don't wanna climb that thing if there's nothing up there. So I powered up the drone, I sent it up into the air, I looked around a bit and I indeed, I indeed did see some uh, plots up in these hills. So I then went to Google Maps, I looked at the uh, satellite image, saw there was a dirt road and I made my way up here. And whoo, it's a sketchy dirt road. It is a sketchy dirt road. So. I finally made it to as close as I can get to where I spotted the plots and now I am searching for them. So come along with me as we go off road and uh, look for something that's hidden up in the mountains and the hills of Virginia City. So if you're unfamiliar with Virginia City or mining towns in general, there are lots of open pit mines everywhere. And most of them that have been found and located by the mining services, they have fences around them saying, hey, don't go near there because it's literally just a hole that drops into the ground. That is what I gotta be careful of while I'm wandering around up here. Uh, there are several and I don't wanna accidentally stumble into one. I've made my way to another little hill, and I think this might be it. I'll look around some more, but I definitely found this pile of rocks, which looks a little too organized just to be random rocks out here. Um, but I know this location is supposed to only have a handful of graves on it. And I did see one with the drone that was definitely fenced around. So I just gotta find that one and I'll know for sure that I found the location. But so far nothing, except for that small pile of rocks. But I'll keep looking. All right, I'm tired, I just climbed dang hill. Probably would have been easier to climb the first hill. But I'm narrowing it down, I think. I did find a cross, a rather big cross. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's just a memorial or if there's an actual burial here. I don't know, but what I do know is that the place I originally stopped and flew the drone is down there. So I should probably go up there a little bit 
and we'll try up there. All right, I see another cross. We're gonna go that way. You can see it, it's right there. All right, I've made it to the cross as I saw. That is not what I saw with the drone. What I saw with the drone was a fenced off plot. But we got one cross here, no name, no identifying marks. And then another one here, same type of cross, no name, no identifying marks, no sign of the actual fenced off plot that I saw. So I think we're on the right track. We're just gonna have to keep searching. All right, still looking in the general area that I found those two crosses. I found another one. I know it just looks like a stick, but the other part's right there. And there are pieces of wood, obviously, that are man-made, not just fallen trees. And it looks like could be fencing that could have gone around said uh, burial plots. So I think I'm in the right place. I just have to find that one fenced in one. All right, the whole time I've been up here, I have not had any sort of signal. So I couldn't look at Google Maps to see if I was even on the right track. I couldn't even get the drone to connect, so I couldn't even fly the drone to look for it. But I finally had enough signal to not fall on my butt to take a look at the Google satellite map. And I think I know where it is. It should be right down here. Uh, ahead of me is kind of a walking trail. I'm going to jump on that, follow that for a few minutes, and then we should be where we're looking for. I found it. I finally found it. This is what I saw from the air. Okay, so according to the marker here, this is more than likely the final resting place for Julia Boulay. Julia Boulay, really interesting story. She was a madam here in Virginia City in the red light district back in its heyday. And you know, while the sex work industry was allowed to survive, it was definitely frowned upon by the higher-ups, the richity muckety-mucks. But it still survived. It still flourished. Because even if uh, your hubby turned his nose up with you as they walked by and saw a lady of the night coming their direction, there's a good chance that he was probably a customer later in the day. Um, Julia, like I said, she was a madam very well liked by uh, a lot of the town folk, uh, the regular folk, if you will. In fact, she was an honorary firefighter because she would go out and help fight fires because this was her town. She loved it and she was gonna care for it. And if that meant throwing buckets of water on a fire to make sure the town didn't burn down, she was gonna be there. Anyway, she was murdered by, uh, I can't remember if it was a customer, a former customer, but she went back to her room one night uh, to find a person there who bludgeoned her to death, uh, made off with a bunch of her jewelry. Uh, I believe he was later caught. But uh, being kind of the urban hero that she was um, in town, that didn't mean she was able to be buried in the cemetery proper because she was a prostitute. She was a madam. You could not put her in with everybody else in the cemetery. So she was buried outside of the cemetery, way outside of the cemetery, because I believe the cemetery is right there. That's how far away it is. She was buried on a hill overlooking the city in which she loved. And I believe, I'm not even 100% certain this is her actual final resting place, because a lot of the time, uh, these graves went unmarked. It wouldn't surprise me if this is the actual one that it was marked by the people who loved her in town. But this is my first time finding it. I didn't even know it was out here. I knew the story of Julie, um, Julia and 
I knew she was buried outside the cemetery, but I never knew that we actually kind of knew where. So this was exciting. This is a piece of Nevada, piece of uh, Virginia City history, not just Nevada's history. And it is a pain to get to. Anyway, that's it. I do all this for you guys. I climb all these dang hills and I drive on rickety uh, dirt roads so that I could bring you something you may not get a chance to see if you're never out this way. Anyway, that's it for this episode. It was a short one, but well worth it, I believe. Until next time, I'll see you then.